Hi, it's Johnny. It's uh, Tuesday today. Still the 30th of August 2016. Now I want to get through this part of my case against Shannon Withers, Barrister, Falcon Chambers, Auckland, John Wanawa versus him and my company in England, Maui Powerhouse Group Limited Limited versus him first for disclosing my confidential information to the court without me and failing to be there for me in my court hearing in front of the judge and Natalie Flower Dew Brown, CIB detective. There's no excuse for it. Shannon, I'm taking you to court, right on this video. Just like the judge said, Collins, you don't need to tell him anything. He said it's all on YouTube. So these YouTube videos I make are my citations against you and every other criminal crown corporate agent in New Zealand. You're now up against British UK jurisdiction under this flag of King William IV and the Vatican. Eight Point Star, St. Patrick's Order and King William's Authority in Westminster, Parliament, Government, England, and British Navy, military. Okay, it's a very serious case that you have lied to me. You have caused me trouble. I'm going to read what you said in your email to me and why I think you're part of the fraud fabric of police corruption in New Zealand. The world for that matter, but this is where the Queen has based her business here on Kingi Todo's land, Chief Kingi Todo, inside the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. And our flag flying there is our authority. Jerry Matapurai Andrews will have to tell me where he gets his authority from on that marae. And Peter Peroni, to you, the chairman of that marae, Waitangi marae, Kingi's listening to me. And this 8 point star authority from Britain and that ship of Admiralty lying on the ground besides the marae in Waitangi, Waitangi Treaty Grounds, that's our property. Our authority with this flag, with the British Government Partnership, in commercial contract with us, the Chiefs. Okay, you're in the Iwi side of corporations and trusts, on the Queen's side, Queen's Bench Court, and we're on the King's Bench side of that Admiralty ship, and that Marae King's Bench Court is our commercial contract order jurisdiction. Okay, so I will just go through what the main theme of this video is, is that there's been fraud committed inside these documents that the court has used after the police Natalie Flower Flowerdew Brown, CIB detective from the Auckland Central Police Station, put these together and created a contract between her and me. That's a contract that she put me into. When she puts names in capital letters, it means somebody is liable for that name. If whether it's John Wanoa, Hawani Wano, or whatever. But as long as the name is not what I normally use. That name and entity belongs to the other part of the contract with me. So she brought these contracts that she put together in her own handwriting and signed them as 
authentic to her signature and everyone else's signature in the statements that I'm going to liable each person who put their names to these documents as being true and correct after the judge threw them out of court. So whoever Hawani Wanoa is in lower case with the birthday of 8th of August 1964 is the person who countersigned my own name, John Wanoa, date of birth, 8th of August 1949, as being me. This is a two-way contract that has gone through the system of justice. From here, with Natalie Flower Dew Brown, woman, bringing them through the door to arrest me. She arrested me with these fraudulent documents, what I call them, and then put me into a contract by handing them to me on the first visit, followed up by a visit again to arrest me. So she came to deliver them, then came back a day later to arrest me with them. That means I read them and said to her, you have no authority to use them on me. She's still dead anyway, anyway after I quoted her, Pope Francis, the, exactly how I'm saying I'm using Pope Francis motu proprio, mot motu propria, law of the Vatican City against these documents. So she still arrested me and took my shirt with my authority on it from King William and my medication. So and off we went to the prison. From there these documents followed through the prison system into the court. Handled by the police into the court. When the court got them they applied their own jurisdictions of the court to them. Whatever jurisdiction that was got to the stage where the police made a determination that the contract was null and void and dismissed the case. All this case the police walked in here with against me was fired out. But, big but, since the documents were fraud and lacked evidence, he took them and the registrar of the court and someone countersigned my bail bond, which is a contract, another contract, for that person whose name is Hoani Wanoa, in lowercase, Hoani Wanoa, that's not a name I usually use, John Wanoa. And so I signed beside it, and someone else signed the other half of the contract to where the money's sitting. So that person received the money. They've received stolen property, which belongs to me, and my trust account and inheritance of an amount I'm putting a value of one trillion pounds on it. That's my valuation of that trust account. Okay, I'm putting the figure on it because you can only have two people in a contract. I can't sign a contract with myself. That's for real. It had to be two real people with two legs, two eyes, two brains, and two ears two eyes. Okay? <clears throat> now, remember what I'm saying. Two people constitutes a contract. Contract made the law. These made the law. When Natalie came in here, she put me in a contract with her. And it's still in a contract with her. I'm still holding her to them as being fraudulent. Right? Then they went to the judge and someone, the registrar or someone else, calling themselves John Hawani John Wano in capitals. That's another person. Each time the name structure language changes, 
it's another entity like uh, Vatican City with brackets is a company. Anything with capitals is a company. So that person, Hawani, John, Wano in bold capitals, is another person that Natalie Flower Dew Brown signed and drew in her pen handwriting John in lowercase and Wanoa in uppercase. See, so she put another John Wanoa there. So you've got a number of John Wanoas, I counted five of them, on her documents, fashioning these documents here, has got it written all over them. I've made them exhibits right up to 14, exhibit 14 in here as my evidence that went to Shannon Withers, barrister of Vulcan Chambers, Auckland Central City. You're liable for those ex exhibits if they've been used without my authority, without my consent, in that court hearing without me. I was not in that court hearing and I haven't got my subpoena to subpoena Natalie Flower Drew Brown, the creator and owner of these documents, and Hawani Wanoa, who is the second person in a contract that signed my signature as a countersign to receive stolen money. So that other person who I signed on that piece of paper, the bail bond to blackmail me to sign it, to get the money out to release me from prison. <clears throat> and so, in law, only two people can make a contract. Some one is the other one that's real, picked up the money and received stolen money. That's what I'm saying here in these documents while they're fraudulent. And the barrister knew all of this because they've had eight months to decide how they're going to deal with me in this court hearing. In other words, the police lost the case. All the trouble they did for 12 people to come here and arrest me came to nothing, as if it didn't happen. And when those Maori UN Federal Marshals went into Cook Street and yanked those people out of the office, wasn't me, wasn't me, was them. Now, that case was as if it never happened. With all the cars screaming around the place, it fizzled out like that in a puff of smoke right in front of the judge without me. Okay, so someone's in trouble on the day they left me out of the court of using someone's documents. If those documents have been used on those marshals without my consent, because I've warned Shannon with us, you're not so clever after all. If you have used my documents, you're in trouble, and those boys, because they got off. They got off the case without corporate documents and citations in here, in this I put together for many hours to do my own investigation and research for my case to defend myself in my own court hearing. Those boys weren't supporting what I do because it was corporate. They said, no, well, they don't do that. But if, when I find out, when these papers go to the High Court of Admiralty in London and they find out that you, Shannon Withers, have used my documents of confidential information that jeopardizes my case and me and favors the police and the court, you're in trouble. The whole system's in trouble. John Key, the whole works. You're in trouble. That means I have an authority to sack the whole government with this authority. You cannot contest this authority that's real. So, for the record of the court and this video, my evidence in this affidavit video, today on the 30th of August 2016, I'm saying this, public statement to you, that 
in order for these to work between me and someone else it had to be a two-way contract I signed and one other signed that I haven't seen yet that is the mystery that's going to be unlocked and it will open a can of worms and everyone concerned with these documents are going to be liable. I'll make that point quite clear. That whatever I say is truth and nothing but truth. So help me God. It's the truth and nothing but the truth I say in front of God. It's up to you people to find who is the other signatory to my signature on the documents for someone to have received the money. I'm accusing the Hawani Wanoa person that I want in the court who put that name there. It can only be Natalie Flower Dew Brown that put those there because she wrote it up. And for someone to have signed, the registrar, the deputy registrar signed the document on the bail bond, that's one signature and my signature. If that registrar is not Hawani Wanoa, the capital letter one, or the Hawani one, or in lowercase, then it's me signing a contract with myself, which is impossible. I cannot sign a contract with myself. It had to be a fraudster on the other end, the one who got the money. So whoever's got the money, the British military is after you. The British military and government is liable for recovering all the debts and to investigate this title as my partner under this flag of King William IV still in contract commercial contract flag with Britain it's you Britain that left John Key and his government and these unruly courts and judges and police and lawyers to go rampant okay I'm just making a clear cut case online I'm going to put it online into the High Court of Admiralty online, pay the fees to start the process of my online case with my powerhouse group limited limited corporation trust company versus all the names I'm gonna put there. The registrar in the court, that signature is there, it's gonna be dug out and if necessary hung for breaking the British law jurisdiction of Admiralty because you've got none. You've got no authority in your courts with no seals. No seals of the Queen, no seals of Westminster, no seals of Supreme Court of New Zealand, no authority jurisdiction against this authority jurisdiction and the jurisdiction of UK government. And Na Atuwa Altia Limited registered company here. That's a creditor as well. And Maui Powerhouse Group Limited Limited Creditor. Levy Creditor. UK jurisdiction Britain. Okay, so your court I've caught you, Shannon Withers, Barista. I've caught you receiving stolen money under these documents of the other signatory to my trust and my inheritance money account right Just, you hear this Shannon you better hear this video because I'm going to email it to you it's got your name written all over it Shannon Withers Barrister use these corrupted fraudulent documents to receive stolen money of a contract between me John Wanoa and Hawani Wano or someone else, the other person with two legs, two eyes, one brain and two ears and a mischievous finger that signed the other person in my trust. Now, you haven't told me who it is, so I'll have to get a higher authority from the British courts designed for big claims to investigate you 
and your company, Lock and Chambers. And if you're found, like I'm saying, I'm suspecting you of fraud, then the whole law system, Bar Association, right through the world, is corrupted. Right from these documents of court you. Right out in the middle of the floor with me as the injured person that you're supposed to look after my financial investment interests and my got paid for it. You got paid. And this is your email to me, 25th of August, 2016, five days ago. Dear Mr. Wanwar, Shannon Withers, my service to you is complete. The charges against you have been dismissed by His Honour Judge Sharp. The charges were dismissed on a basis that the police could not offer any evidence. The police were unable to offer any evidence as the officer in charge of the case is on overseas deployment in the Solomon Islands. The charge, the charged, has been dismissed rather than withdrawn and cannot be relayed. This outcome is in the vernacular and acquittal. I will not attend Auckland District Court on the 29th of August 2016. I do not understand what purpose the court would have in giving you a date and do not believe they have done so. I am not required to attend. The services required of me under the terms of my assignment has are uh, already complete. If you wish to have a lawyer present, you will need to instruct one privately or make a further application through the legal aid by way of assistance. I observe, however, that you are not likely to be entitled to receive legal aid in the context of all charges having been dismissed. In terms of the appearance in court, I'm sorry that you, you have somehow misunderstood my text. Where are you? And we are in court three. I have reviewed, reviewed the messages and I do not see any possible meaning requiring you to wait outside the court, thereby separating you from the others. I apologize, however, for any misunderstanding. Had you looked through the window, you would have seen me waiting for you in court. I arrived at court well in advance of, in advance of your scheduled appearance. I am not responsible for your timekeeping. I am disappointed by your accusation that I was serving interests other than yours. I faithfully fulfilled my obligations to you, primarily in this instance being my duty to protect you as my client so far as is possible from being convicted. The charge has been dismissed without the need for trial, the best possible outcome. I have devoted enormous resources to your case. The time requirements of this case have been expanded exponentially by your instructions. I have worked tirelessly to assist you. It is through my involvement and my assistance that the police were able to see that they could not offer any evidence. To be clear, your evidence of Pope Francis Vatican City motu proprio and demanding the false John Wanoa be held to account for your misconduct was misconceived. This is a secular society, Mr. Warnor. Even if the Pope had issued such an edict, it would be of no effect in this country. A usual search of the Internet shows no such decree. I observe that in the overall circumstances of your case, you were extremely lucky. The situation you, cre you created had every capacity for disaster. The assault of office workers going about their day consequent to the perceived breach of the registered owner of the building is not fair and would have it very easily led to someone being hurt or worse. In the in event you have been given a reprieve, please use it wisely. Focus on your health. As for your declaration, you will go back to 77 Cook Street. As for your declaration that you will go back to 77 Cook Street, I cannot emphasize strongly enough that you should not do that. You have no recognized right to that land. You will be arrested and you will be charged. In terms of your intended action against the officer in charge, the appropriate forum for your complaints against Detective Flower Dubran is the Police Complaints Authority. Yours faithfully,
chilling with this barrister. Welcome Chambers to Court Lawyers of Auckland. Giffords Building, corner of Vulcan Lane and High Street, PO Box 941, Auckland. Here is my notice to Shannon Withers on August the 26th, four days ago, one day before the court hearing. Vulcan Chambers Lawyers, Vulcan Lane, Auckland Central. Facebook and YouTube, High Court of Admiralty, London. Recovery of Levy Debtors Owed. Rolls Building, Fetter Lane, London, Britain, UK, England. Friday, 26th of August, 2016. Shannon Withers, Barrister. Take notice, I am citing, citing you on Pope Francis Motu Propria, Vatican City State Laws for abuse against you in the High Court of Admiralty in London, perverted course of justice in Auckland, in New Zealand, Law conspiring to defraud me of my inheritance trust fund. Money did so. With corrupted fraud instruments, I present in exhibits to overturn the court hearing and reset the case in the High Court of Justice, far from the corrupted system of New Zealand Auckland District Court. Law and police own created law that held no basis of evidence, yet those illegal instruments were acted upon by the Deputy Court Register to extort money from John Wanoa Trust account that clearly shows the wrong birth date as 8th of August 1964 as living at my business address, residential address assigned as the owner of the inheritance, but the contract is corrupt, defective of its authenticity signature, does not match up to its owner and counter signature man Hoani John Wanoa in capital bowl. Name as trustee did not appear in court as I instructed my barrister Shannon Withers to do, failed to perform his duty of care, being paid by these forged instruments I have identified the accused as Natalie Fraudu Brown, own penned handwriting the name of the man John Wanoa John and lower case and one or in upper case, as an financial interest in this trust account is fictitious fraudulent use of capital letters, all caps. I cited Pope Francis Motu Proprio, Proprio forbids the state register from using birth certificates as money, security investment instruments of value to steal, rob, blackmail, extort, extract, withdraw money from an account that I signed and someone else he failed to identify for me who I am in contract with me in the trust. Deceive me of inheritance fund uh, estimate to be one trillion Great Britain, Britain pound value. I claim through my British registered company, Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Limited. Levy creditor now owed outstanding debts against the landowners of Cook Street and the third parties conspired to defraud me, did in fact defraud me with this birth certificate of Hawani Wanoa, lowercase, date of birth, 8th of August, 1964. A fraud? There is no person that name with that birth date living at this address 07B bar 16 Park in Odahu, but I live here, John Wanoa, 8th of August, 1949, normal name signature. So this makes the documents fraud. Money, transaction, instruments, this barrister, I told him, you, Shannon, but he ignored me after I had emailed to him my full discoveries of the discrepancies of all these documents I cite in front of the public on my Facebook, my online public social media trial by media in the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court hearing, Chief Kingi Todua ruling passed into law by phone under King William IV Maui Crown Legal Authority. Fraud has been committed and passed in law as a default contract. We now proceed to court against the named Crown Corporation's agents and public services as cited in multi propria trial. One, the competent judicial authorities of Vatican State shall also exercise penal jurisdiction over a crimes committed against the security, the fundamental interests of the patrimony of the Holy See. B 
crimes referred to in Vatican City State Law B111 of 11th of July 2013 containing supplementary norms on criminal matters law. In Vatican City State Law Number 1X of 11th July 2013 containing amendments of the Criminal Code and Criminal Procedures Code when such crimes are committed by the persons referred to in paragraph 3 below in the exercise of their functions. C. Any other crime whose prosecution is required by an international agreement ratified by the Holy See, if the perpetrator is physically present in the territory of Vatican City State and has not been extradited. 2. The crimes referred to in paragraph 1 are to be judged pursuant to the criminal law in force in Vatican City State at the time of their commission without prejudice to the general principles of the legal system on the temporal application of criminal laws. 3. For the purposes of Vatican criminal law, the following persons are deemed public officials. A. Members, officials and personnel of the various organs of the Com Roman Curia and of the institutions connected to it. B. Papal, legates and diplomatic personnel of the Holy See. C. Those persons who serve as representatives, managers or directors as well as persons who even de facto manage or exercise control over the entities directly dependent on the Holy See and listed in the registry in canonical, canonical juridical persons kept by the governor of the Vatican City State. D. Any person, any other person holding an administrative or Judicial mandate in the Holy See, permanent or temporary, paid or unpaid, irrespective of that person's seniority. 4. The jurisdiction referred to in paragraph 1 from comprises also the administrative liability of juridical persons arising from crimes as required by Vatican City state laws. 5. When the same matters are prosecuted in other states, the provisions enforced in Vatican City state on current concurrent jurisdiction shall apply. Six, the contents of Article 23 of Law Number CX1X of 21st November 1987, which approves the juridical order of the Vatican City State, remains in force. This I decide and establish anything to the contrary, notwithstanding, I establish that this apostolic letter issued motu proprio will be promulgated by its publication in two. El Osservato Romano entering into force on the 1st of September 2013, given in Rome at the Apostolic Palace on the 11th of July 2013, the first of my pontificate. Franciscus, Franciscus. <coughs> Copyright, Libertio Idris Vaticana III. Now, I wrote this, I want my day in court and you never gave it to me, Shannon, Shannon Withers. Now it's going to the High Court in London. You know there is a fraud in the police and you helped them to get away with it and not helping me in my person there. You did me wrong. Where is me in front of the judge and that policewoman, to, policewoman crook? I had a Sabrina for her to appear. Nothing. That law is an ass, waste of time going to court, what for? It makes your whole legal system a scam on my ancestral land and worst of all, you didn't represent me, rather you did not want me in court. So I subpoena you all one by one into the High Court London, broke the Pope's state law against me and a fraud woman police. Will go down in history, New Zealand is a corrupted state brought to its knees on my chief land, you shouldn't be allowed to live on boot you all out. You got paid from that crooked document covered up by police with no seals of authority and no queen bullshitting away through these shit forged documents. You sidestepped my instructions to adhere to them. You ignored them as you pay the price of bounty on your head and see how you feel when your our chiefs instruct me to do it to you all. That is no justice reason for me to go to a high court to lock you all up and my chiefs and Facebook followers accuse you of conspiring to defraud me and the public of New Zealand. 
why did you change the court day at the last minute? You did me in service, did me no service, doing that after waiting for my own day in front of the judge. Why I have a court of my own on Waitangi Marae and you are not getting away with it and you too is exposed online as criminals. And you know you are all caught up in this scram and have no evidence to stack up against what I have in public view, making you all guilty as I charge you have no title to challenge my land title, hide behind nothing that has substance but a whim. Why you lost your police case because you all have nothing to match my evidence is a public discovery I claim to have made about you. I will go to the British to bring you to court in London since I am a corporate there with British UK jurisdiction for them, our partners and King Toto Chief to start recovery proceedings. I think I know more than you about native law and King's law while you, Queen, has your Queen has abandoned ship and you have nothing to base your admiralty on why I had the New World Order hat on to shut you your court down because it has no seal of the Queen in Brussels and no jurisdiction over Pope Francis and my flag of King William IV. My particular British Navy military recovery of lands and property seizure under my orders. You will all get caught are named in the conspiracy documents on going viral, viral, too late, the whole world knows about it. I am not finished with you thugs, as Kingy calls it, that all of you lot are with two birth dates, one of Hawani Wanoa, 8th of August 1964, and John Wanoa, 8th of August 1949. Neither of these humans are me, the Deputy Registrar and Natalie Flower Du Brown signed to cash up and receive stolen money after she designed these documents to defraud me. You accept it as authentic. Is a fraud I caught you slimy creatures doing to defame my name. Paid yourselves, quote, Pope Francis Pope Proprio amended to the Criminal Acts and Criminal Procedures Acts that you are not permitted to use these documents in the Registrar of Births to pay yourselves. Prove me wrong, Shannon. Come on, own up. Who did you get the money off? Was it from my trust account? Sign, I signed with the wrong birth date of Hoani John Wanoa. You explained this to me and the judge in the High Court of Admiralty in London. Come on, tell me who paid you. How much? You robbers of fake documents, your bar law is as crooked as hell on my lands. You lot are corrupted, the whole lot of you, why police lost the case is what I have online, will not go away. Your name is there till the British police get here in their problem. Get here is their problem. You people covered each other's asses. That's what the chiefs are saying, not just me, but the chiefs pissed off with wasting our time and doing that to me just to make money for you crooks that I have exposed here and you are in it. Handling those documents that are forged, I wrote on them for the High Court to rule on, lock you buggers all up. You did not want me in the court, why? I am pissed off with you in front of everyone waiting for answers what with all the shit in the deceptive language you bastards bastardized my good name, now publicly bastardized your names, used our names to defraud our citizens people with those documents you all believe in. I showed the people just what goes on in court. You can't keep fooling people with your corrupt system. Tell me it's not. I have a trillion pound on each of your heads to give to the British authorities because you have no evidence against mine, not those men, just mine. I talk like this online to bastards who offend Maui Earth God, my higher intelligence Maui, and you stand in front of me with those documents and swear they are genuine truth. And I bet you will fuck off and not want to know what you did to my royal Tahitian family name. Just left me out while you carried on with the court after getting rid of me. At least I can see your motive was between you and the judge to keep me away.
from the marshals easier to cover it up. With them, who was not up to this level of corporate law progressive professionally, is insulting on me and my chiefs who follow my truth law. My word against yours. You will lose standing there on my land. You've got nothing to show me who you bought it off. You're going to lose it to Maui in the end. You will get dragged into the High Court in London on these crooked documents to make you give my inheritance property you stole together with the Sheriff Registrar from me and everyone else receiving stolen money on this planet. We want to see locked up now and make sure you all get locked. You corrupted our flag jurisdiction Maui and myself King William for titles. This is my normal way of talking online and about fraudsters accused of conspiracy to defraud the chiefs, me and the public of New Zealand. I carry on now to cite Pope Francis Morto Proprio against your authorities using Vatican City state laws on my land. You've got no title to, just a whim. Same party of thieves of old days who screwed our families off our lands. Your law language on these documents are corrupted. My wife says, and I say, and my chief says, whatever I say is our collective strong angry words shall take you to the higher court to seize all your assets, property, one trillion Great Britain pound bounty on each of your heads now. You fail to let me appear in court for my own justice, my own court hearing. So I will take you to court for the same fraud landowners as the third party default contract, tempering, lawyers, deceiving sages. My choice of words are in my chief's choice of words, short of a musket law. Says my way, King William IV gave us chief, chiefs this flag here for pirates that have grossly offended us, you and your group of pirates. Why the hell are you people using fictitious surnames, names that are deceptive of my real name? Tell me how much money you screwed off me. This email goes onto Facebook because you bastards humiliated me and my name. You made it into other names to steal my property, money, inheritance. I valued at one trillion pound for each offender. Natalie Fowdu Brown's documents liable all of you people are named as third party gets the bill now. That the police lost the case and leave me and my chiefs no option but to send this bill for each single person to the High Court of Admiralty in London to get a ruling and then I will bring our sheriffs and confiscate all your assets, property, land or you. Watch. You help me, you help the fraud judge to hide the police fraud and these documents and you did nothing to act on my subpoena. Judge Grant Fraser and Collins gave me with full disclosure. I didn't get it. So you all fa failed to deliver my rights to a fair hearing and I never got it. So these documents plus my invoice over you lot of thugs is on their way to the High Court in London in front of the Pope. You will order citations which supports my claim and the title of the 77 Cook Street property assets. I expect to seize on and lock them all up for hiding behind your stupid corrupted laws. Anyone can see your corrupted the justice system. My God's law states here facts and substantial evidence that the police cannot try that trick anymore and so that leaves the crooked people on Cook Street able to yanked into court one by one with the British Police Admiralty Law of the Sea and our real chiefs, not your iwi chiefs, get the levy data bill. From now on we are serious about fraud, police, corruption for the followers of all over the world. See you put my case next week. You put my case till next week at the last minute, you rogue thug. As we now label you not only my shares the same opinion of you and these crooked fraud instruments locked your name Shannon with us for life. I call you these names because you deserve humiliating while I went to prison for nothing and you were paid for your services from the illegal instruments that I signed under duress and the same 
Name Hawani Wanawa in lowercase is the wrong birth date. Look for yourself or are you blind? Because a lot of people are mad at you doing nothing about it. Rather, take the judge view of the fraud is following the trail to the money. Have that all the police like me want to want it back from you thieves. They all say in disgust. You didn't do that, I instructed you to cite in front of me, so I will get a court that will cite you. Shows it caught you and the judge racketeering. Many people will attest to this description of you on my interest of land breaking your own using Crime Act 1961. So I'm mounting a case against you with my chiefs through this county, country and Britain. You're not going to get away with it. In this no. Why the hell are you people calling different names and birth dates? This is a crooked that a nicest man would slice your heads off. Law. John Wano is now John Wano, I made the name up and low case, is how you pack of bastards abuse the English English language to extort money out of me and others are mad about you lot of thugs. They all call you did this to me, I will get a lot of likes for standing myself, standing by myself and not in a gang. I look up myself, don't trust any other lawyer, lawyer, boot them as far as I can, and they can fly on their asses. I will never forgive you for leaving me out in the court hearing. When I was there, you kept me away on purpose and you sided with the court and the whole world sees your behaviour is no more of it. I was going there to shut it down with the Pope's citation. I know you know I was going to do this and top and top me rather than the judge took away easily took the easy way out option but still kept the money. That's the offence. The documents, my signature and the birth certificate authenticity doesn't add up. My birth date, John Wanoa, 8th of August 1949, is not the same as the crooked Hawani Wanoa, 8th of August 1964 birth date. Natalie Flower Dew Brown and the Deputy Register invented, manufactured, forged name, forged, made up, forged and cashed against my trust inheritance money. I instructed you to claim back for me. You failed to perform this for me. Discusses John one there. All I'm saying here is this in this video for the record in the courts in the High Court of Admiralty in London is that the documents here were used fraudulently to create money out of two signatures on a document called the bail bond. I sign and another live person signs. It is that other live person who is impersonating my name and created a name to extort or steal or rob an account with my name inheritance to that money. I'm claiming all that money, one trillion pound note value of that trust that belongs to me, the real person, and that other person who signed it's got to be Hawani Wanoa, or a John Wanoa, or a Hawani John Wanoa in capitals. That person needs to front up as a live person. There's a two-way contract. You can't, I can't sign with a dead person. Somebody's live on the other end of that signature. That's there. Either the registrar, deputy registrar, has forged my name and took the money. He received stolen money. He received stolen money from these forged documents that he threw out of the court or the judge threw out of the court and dismissed the case of charges against us, the real person. But he took the papers and gave them to the registrar who then cashed them of that bond as if this was still real. It followed the trail of fraudulent authentication or it's not authentic but it was forged documents of no authority no authority 
these documents were used through the legal system of courts and jurisdiction of a court to pull money out of my inheritance account that I'm claiming back. That's why I contracted the barrister to act to get my money back. He didn't. Instead, he helped to dismiss the case. He did not go, as I instructed him, being paid to do on my behalf, to represent me, not the court, to represent me. He got paid from this money that I signed. Okay, can you see that? I'm being very frank here. That crime has been committed on a signature of me, the live person, and someone else, live person. Two live persons make a contract. Not one live person and one dead person. Right? Two live persons. The other person who signed has two legs, two eyes, two ears, and a brain to extort money. I'm accusing that person has robbed me. And that's the crime. I'm going to the High Court of Admiralty in London. The highest court in the world here, this authority, is in the King's Bench Court there with this flag. And I'm going through that court to recover my stolen property off the Crown Corporate Thugs. They're just another business. I have a business there in London. My Powerhouse Group Limited Limited. UK jurisdiction over this court because they have lower jurisdiction on an amount I'm going to claim of one trillion pounds. You can't do it here. The Chinese go straight to the High Court of Admiralty in London. They go straight there online, especially for cases like this, fraudulent, and especially criminal cases where police are involved or the state, church and state, and agents of the Crown. They're just people operating fictitious name businesses and hiding the fraud. All those people on Cook Street, you're liable. You're going into the court straight off after I dealt with Shannon with us in the High Court in London, the two landowners in the court in, the high, in, in London, and Natalie Flower Dew Brown. The four of you are going into court and are going to make a Ass out of you, people, thugs. You're going in there, then I'm seizing that property with the British military. That's what I've said all along until I win the case with this authority higher than your humbug law. One more time, people. These arrest documents failed in court without me. I didn't even step into the court because they used my information. My barrister used it for his own interests and the interests of the judge and the courts. And he trying to frighten me by saying I'm lucky to get off. He's going to be sad. He's going to get bowled in the court and thrown in the prison. That's what's going to happen here, Shannon. I'm telling you, don't fool around with me and my chiefs on our land, because you'll get hung. You'll get hung under this law, because we're allowed to use that law on you now. Okay, the laws have changed. And the Pope, like I'm saying, the Pope's laws applies to any de facto that's using his laws. You are using his laws in here. All these capital letter business belong to the Pope. That's his copyright. I have the authority to use it on you. I have the authority to use it on your court and shut it down because you've broken the law of Vatican City. That's what it said. If you got paid using that law in a de facto state, because you got those words, a state of the Holy See, the Holy See is the churches outside of the Vatican. Out here in New Zealand, the Vatican and the Catholic Churches are political in 
governments. Government makes the law through churches. Church and state is involved in these documents. Don't tell me something I, I don't know or I know, Shannon. I know more than you, and you're a lawyer. I'm learned how you thugs use the law for yourselves. You're caught. I caught you. I caught you all out. Okay, that's why I'm making these videos for my court case. I'm going to be specific when I go to the High Court with these online. I don't have to go to London. I can do them right here. You've got to go to London. If I send you to London, you have to go there to court and lose. If you don't go there, you'll lose by default. I'll put you in a contract. As soon as I put you online, with your face there and your name, you can't get out of it. You won't get out of it. And every other lawyer and barrister in this country, you won't get away with it. I just got off the phone with Kingi Toto, my chief, up in Waitangi. He's the only chief up there listening to me. Right? Because he's the last man on his feet. The last man on his feet holds the mana to that land and his flag. Okay? The flag of Admiralty with the law he holds. The same with Te Hora Marae at Port Awanui. Those Komatu are there, um, Iru Painga, on that Marae holds the mana. He's the last man standing on his feet. He listened to me, and so did Boise and Bill, brothers, Te Maro, from their Tikapa Marae. Listen to me. They listen. I said, oh John, it's all a pipe dream. I said, yeah, that's a nice pipe dream. And you'll love it. Well, at the end of it, they put a koha down and loved it. Okay, so that's all I wanted to say to that. But when it comes to law, my family is law. The Rogan judges of the time King William put those laws together and the Cosgrove lawyers is in my blood. Don't fool around. With what I know in my blood. That's the white bits of me. The brown bits are the native surnames to these lands. Don't try any tricks, Shannon, because you'll lose. Anybody fooling around with these and this and this bag will lose from now on because the Pope has changed the laws. Okay? That's the way it is now. And unless your word can match mine in the court. If I took the landowners to court, they'll lose that land straight off. Straight off, because they won't be able to match the evidence. You all lost the case on Cook Street and the police on top of it because you lack the evidence against what I've written all over these documents. The same as when I came out of prison. I scribbled all over the documents like how I just did. I'm going to put them back on again. I'll just put the video there. But this video backs behind the other videos just to show you that when I scribble on your documents, your useless documents, those have got citations on it. And when there's citations on there, I stick by them because they are higher law than your law here in New Zealand. Quite exactly. Because that's where those stupid words and uppercase and lowercase letters come from. The Vatican. They were mischief to use them. That's why they took them away because they don't want anybody to use them again. They've screwed all the money out. I'm going after them too. They get part of the 970 million trillion trillion pound note bill. And so do you, Shannon Withers. You're getting that bill too. All of you barristers and lawyers in this country, New Zealand, you're getting the bill. You're getting a pound note bill on your head. Trillion pounds. Trillion pound note on your heads. All of you. All of you, please. 15,000 of you getting a trillion pound on your head. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. I'm being serious here. Because I'm allowed to. Okay? If you can't take it, then take it to court. I'll meet you in court. Alright? So that's all for now, uh, people. I just wanted to show you how I'm going to approach this case online and these videos are going online and I'll show you how to do a classic case of fraud picked on me. Right? 
all you people going to court, you, you've got these too. They don't come from any law society or bar association. They come from the police. The police are trying to run this country and every other country in the world. Okay? They're going to get shot the bits. Okay? So, thank you. I'll see you later. I better get on with and do some work. Bye. Don't forget. That's what I said. Two people. Remember this. A contract makes law. Law makes a contract between two live people with legs. They can talk to each other and sign with each other. What happened in my case was I signed a document and someone signed the document, the fraud one, and picked up the money. They received the stolen goods because I'm complaining on this side as signing something that has been stolen from me, the real person, and they've put names like my own name and someone has signed to those names that look like mine that I don't normally use. I do not fashion my name in capitals and mixed up lowercase and uppercase. It's these thieves in the court, the police that got caught, now the judge is caught, playing around with you and playing around with me to make money out of us. When the judge dismissed the case, he was still sitting there saying, I'll pick the money up for all the police and efforts for everyone to administer all this crooked stuff, right? He wasn't worried about how much trouble these people went through. He was collecting the money from me to pay everybody that came after me. Now I'm going after them. They're all going to pay for the money I'm going to claim from the British military and government to chase them, take it out of them, to pay the case for me to take it off them. You get that? Did you get that? That's how it works. I'll do it in reverse. I will do to them what they did to me, only worse. Okay? Only worse. When the king gets you, you're going to get the chop. Okay? Thank you very much. See you later. Bye. And people who annoy me on Facebook and uh, Skype, I'll just delete you now. I've just deleted uh, one guy. He was with the marshals. He never get arrested. I'm talking about you, Gavin. Um, uh, Gavin. Um, you you should have got arrested with us. You didn't. You got so cunning. Marish, Gavin Marish. You please. You didn't arrest Gavin Marish. He was in charge of all those marshals. How come he got away? How come Kawanata uh, is locked up? He's still locked up in prison. See, another marshal got locked up, and this guy got away with it. How come, Gavin, you got away with it? You weren't, you didn't go to prison like I, I did. Yet I didn't go in the office. You did. Went in there and ordered everybody out of the office. How come the police left you alone, and went after the, all the other ones? Is it because you were more white than the other one? You should have been in the court. You should have gone on the stand too, but you didn't. You're so cunning that you got away. That's why I deleted you off my Skype because you're asking me for information about what I do. In other words, you were wanting to use my pound note for your business that looks more like corrupted. That's why I can say that because it doesn't look good. I read it. I don't like you and your pyramid schemes. Now, I'll just warn everybody, watch, watch who is selling what online. Because look at who is the real person with the product. Everything you see on Moai and Kingwood on the 4th, on our site, the Moai uh, Powerhouse Group, Limited Limited Company, and the Tidal Energy, Moai Tidal Energy, is only people who do the job. Only those people you deal with that do the job, not somebody middleman. We crunch middlemen out of the way from screwing people with somebody else's ideas and don't guarantee it. They don't guarantee. Check it out. Just say, who's doing this? Where, where, where's that come from? And 
what's the guarantee? Is it your idea or, or is it somebody else's product that you're selling? See? I never want to use somebody else's product but my own. And anybody building the big turbines, they build it and guarantee their work. Otherwise they never get the contract. No one gets the contract. I gave these marshals and him and you, Gavin, Marish, I gave you a contract to get the Cook Street. You didn't get it. You failed. You see, there's a cost to that. You owe me for not getting it. You see, I haven't come to that stage yet, if, if anything, that you guys weren't proficient enough to go and do it. You had a go, but go having a go is not good enough in business. You either do it, fail, or not fail. I'll go and get it myself. I'll show you how to do it. But you won't be able to do it because you won't have authority to do it. You won't have the chiefs behind you to do it. So anybody watching these videos, do not try what I do because you'll land up with a pound note on your head and locked up for that matter. Don't touch anything that has the Maui brand name and copyrights and trademarks attached to it and this flag and King William's Crown Corporation. Do not touch Maui patent rights, products, anything with a Maui on it that's unique to Rapanui and Hitorangi. I'm putting him beside the Maui statue because he's one of the chiefs there. I'll go and see him and bring him here and I'll get the right chief to say the right things. Okay? Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Bye.